Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Steph Farm. Today's video, another draft report. We've been going through multiple, multiple draft reports through leading up all the way to the NFL draft. In today's video, quarterback Drake May out of North Carolina, 6'5", 220. He's got the perfect size for NFL quarterback. He's got an explosive arm. We'll get into everything. Start off with his bloodline, though. He's got a rich bloodline. He's one of the most athletic players in this whole entire draft. His dad played football in North Carolina from 1983 to 1988. His brother is one of a Tar Heel great, played basketball from 2015 to 2019. His brother Cole won a NCAA baseball title at Florida, and his other brother plays for North Carolina basketball team as well. So he comes from a family of athletes. They're all winners. They're all winners, all D1. I mean, what else can you ask for? In 2023, played in 12 games. North Carolina was subpar this year, to say the least. But Drake May still balled out in the conditions he was given. 3,608 passing yards, 24 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. His career, he's only played two seasons as the starter. So he threw for 7,929 passing yards, 62 touchdowns, and 6 teen interceptions. So a great passing touchdown and interception ratio. His last year was, was rough, to say the least. He lost his offensive coordinator. His receiver play was inconsistent throughout the whole year. Tez Walker transferred from Kent State. He had the whole NCAA thing, so they couldn't really get acclimated for a while. They finally cleared him like game two. This is whole mess at North Carolina. Phil Longo goes to Wisconsin, like I just said, and then his old line play was bad. They were banged up the whole year. New starters, everything. He had the same last year that Sam Howell had, where all the position play, all the playmakers on offense leave, and he's just left there trying to be, you know, the next guy in college but let's get into his strengths and weaknesses strength like i said earlier he's got great size he's 6'5 220 lean can do everything that you want as a quarterback you don't want a short guy you want somebody that's slender tall and can really just be that quarterback for you he's got that he has the best accuracy in the draft he's always putting the ball on the guys when they need to be at all times he doesn't have the best footwork but we're going to his weaknesses but he still gets the ball there and he's accurate. I think that can really help him in the next level where if he cleans some up of his, of his lower body, his upper body is a really, really great spot right now. He's a dual threat that can extend plays. His last two years rushing, let's see here, he has 16 rushing touchdowns. He ran for over 1,000 yards over two seasons, so he's really good. He's a dual threat. He can make plays with his legs. He can extend plays. I think that can really, really help him in the NFL. We'll get to his weaknesses. So it's some of his weaknesses as well, but for the most part, it can really helps his game. Helps North Carolina's offense as well. He also has multiple arm angles. I think that is one of the best things about Drake May. He can really throw from any angle, any launch point, any anything like that. He has the capability of doing that. He's got good velocity to fit with throws and window. So everything about his arm is perfect. He is just a quarterback that can throw at all three levels, throw outside the hashes, outside the numbers, everything in the middle of the field. He can do it all. But his weaknesses is something that can hurt him. If he wants to go where he wants to go in the NFL, and he reminds me a lot of Josh Allen in a way of where his arm is electric, live, everything like that. But I'll have to clean up his footwork. His footwork is really bad. It's really inconsistent. You never know what kind of footwork you're going to get with Drake May. But his, his arm just makes up for it. So I feel like they didn't really harp on it a lot in North Carolina just because he got away with it. He got away with a lot of different things. Uh, and then he panics under pressure a lot. And with panicking under pressure, that could lead to just a bad throw or a bad decision you don't want to see. And that's what happens with Drake May. That's the Drake May experience at North Carolina. And another thing that I said earlier, he's a dual threat. He can extend plays. But a lot of times he scrambles into sacks. He doesn't see the... The clear lane a lot as somebody that you want to see more run and and use his his legs to his advantage. He scrambles into a lot of sacks, which could hurt him at the next level. You don't want to get sacked a lot as a quarterback, especially you know third down and everything like that. And he had a terrible offensive line this past year, and he held onto the ball a lot just because. He had a bad offensive line, and his receivers weren't the best that he had the year before, so that struggled a lot just holding on to the ball too often, which I don't really think is was his fault as much. But whatever team he's going to go to, he's not going to have the best receiver play right away. If you look at the commanders, I know they have Terry McLaurin, but Curtis Samuel is a free agent, goes to the Patriots. 
I don't know what's going to happen there. You know, some of these other, you know, the Raiders, they had Devontae Adams back to that. Jacoby Myers, and it falls off. The Broncos, just a bunch of receivers, a bunch of misfit toys. And the last thing about Drake May, he is a roller coaster quarterback. And I mean that in the best way possible. But that could hurt him. He, like I said earlier about Josh Allen, you're going to get two great plays out of, out of Drake May. Wow. Just plays like that. Plays that you don't see out of a lot of quarterbacks. Like, ooh, wow. You know, it's stuff like that. And then Hoto, and the next pass will be, why would he do that? What is he doing? What is he thinking? It's just, uh, it's just like, he'll have a huge moon a moon ball and then he'll run and then the next play he'll like scramble into a sack or just force a pass that he shouldn't throw or maybe you get an interception it's like why why are we doing that and that's just the Drake May experience he'll have to clean that up he'll have to clean up the decision making the footwork in the NFL but I think Drake May is my QB2 in this class he's behind Caleb Williams I think he'll be a great fit wherever he goes I think Washington would be dumb to pass up on Drake May and take a Jaden Daniels or anybody else in this class Drake May is going to be a starting quarterback in the NFL for the next 10 to 15 years he's got to clean up his footwork and I think he has to have the perfect OC to do this he has to have a Brian Dable to Josh Allen kind of thing and I think Cliff Cliff Kingsbury can be that guy for Drake May I think Drake May is a is a a great great quarterback he's got the great arm talent just got to keep him healthy, get some good receivers around him, and he can be a playoff, the Super Bowl winning quarterback in the NFL. That's all I have for today's video. Comment down below what you guys think of Drake May. Check out the other videos I have. I have Caleb Williams up on the channel so far. We've been going through a lot of different quarterbacks as well. So subscribe, help out the boy, and that's all I have for today's video. See you guys next time. Peace.